Hey everybody, that's the daughter back again doing knife reviews. Um, actually today I'm going to show you my knife box which has pretty much every knife that I have in it um, that I own. And if anybody's watching this wants to make a video of their knife box by all means that would be awesome. I love to see other people's knives as well. This one I carry EDC. It's a Boker Plus. I believe this is the this one, the Chad Dinos. If I'm saying that wrong, please forgive me. It's the one that does not have a locking mechanism. Um, locking mechanism is pretty much your finger right there on it. So the blade does not slip. But great knife. Carry this one a lot. If I'm out in the field and I just need a knife to bang up. It's been this one, the charade, the SCH501S. And... I like this one a lot. I carry it a lot. I've used it a lot. Um, it's holding up really well. So if you see one of these out, um, definitely pick one up because they're worth it. In my opinion, they're worth it. All right, I'll show you another one. This one was in the box. I took it out of the box just so I'd have something sitting on top just to get to really quick and show everybody. This is my David Manley uh, custom-made Canadian belt knife with uh, my counter handles and left hand holster or sheath I should say and this I have just doodads Actually, it looks like a smith sharpener and a little micro some of those for putting paracord or shoelaces or whatever and that's about it. This side, I got, uh, this is used whenever you get like gunk on your knives or anything. It's a racer. Works pretty good. And in my other videos, I've had the diamond sharpening cards. And they work really good. A pinnacle soft arc is all sharpening stone. like a broken fuse that I got to send to get fixed and a knife that my brother-in-law gave me just a small one uh, Appalachian Trail so. anyway on to the contents of the box and let's see what we got This one here, Kershaw. Not even sure which one this is. Just a small uh, Skinner style knife. Haven't used this one yet, so I really can't comment on it. Hopefully, I get a deer this year, and I want to test it out on that. So, let's see what else. The Buck three blade. A 307 which I believe was made by I believe this one was made for Smoky Mountain Knife Works and this thing is sizable look maybe we can pair and contrast shut up red that's my one of the roosters let's see what can I show you to compare it to where's that where's that This is the case knife that my father gave me. And probably don't want to do it with that blade. We'll do it with this blade. So this one is very sizable compared to a gate case stockman. And what else do we got? This is a like a Victorinox looking knife um, I don't know I bought this at a gun show so of course it's got that blade smaller blade openers screwdriver corkscrew and look at the size of that all pretty neat 
I believe it's buffalo horn handles. Let's see what else we got. Sharpener. And shut up, Red. <laughs> The Air Ranger. This is green handles. I got this one at Walmart, actually. And, uh, that's the first time I've ever seen the green handles on it. I've seen black. I've seen just the, uh, the silver. Never seen the green before, so that's why I picked that one up. And I've had those before in the past. It's one of the Vanish Selects Buck. Booker SOCOM or SUBCOM, I think I believe it's called. SUBCOM or SOCOM, I think it's SOCOM. Anyway, very small. You can actually put this one in the pocket, uh, the small pocket in your jeans, and it disappears. Let's see what else we got. West Virginia coal miner knife case. Single blade. Very nice. Uh, let's see what else we got. It's an axe sharpener. Straight old timer. Hunting stone. Of course, you can use it for other things as well. Let's see. Another case knife. Stockman. The. I believe this is a boker. I believe it's on this one. Boker. That's a uh, four bladed. Old Imperial. Looks kind of like a Barlow style, two blades. Nice knives everywhere. This is the Buck 112. My father has a Buck Light that looks identical to this one almost. <coughs> and he's going to do that the whole time I'm recording this. The SE Zancudo. Carried this one for. This is a very nice knife. Actually, if you left hand it, you can still get it out fairly easy uh, once it loosens up. Whenever I first got it, I could not do that left handed very well, but it's loosened up. Very nice. I like that knife. I thought I lost this one last year whenever I was hunting, and I found it whenever the snow finally, uh, <laughs> finally dried up there. Spiderco. I've had this one for quite a long time. I'm not even sure what's, which one this is. It's the CPM S30V steel. Uh, actually, this one, actually, this is a native. Spiderco native. So. Of course, tools for fixing stuff. I think this is a bear hunter. It's German steel. Trapper style the two blades and I just clipped my fingernails so get that blade out not not be something we're doing today I believe this one's a trapper as well yep that's a trapper style with a case which is two blades never carried that one that one was given to me by my grandfather who passed away Frontier, small, Imperial Ireland, 
two blade it. I believe this one was my other grandfather's knife. What else we got? And I believe I'm going to have to make this a two-parter, guys. Some of these knives I actually have in the box. Some of them I don't. Actually, I could probably get through this pretty quick, so we'll do it. Cold steel, Canadian belt knife. Like I said, I like that style. And I believe this is a sharp finger. Trade. Excellent knife. This is a Schrade USA 152. What else we got? Just a razor knife. Craftsman. Strop. for working on knives. This one is the Gerber Gator the gut hook. And of course one of my favorite knives ever made the Gerber Gator that used to be issued to us in the Air Force a long time ago. Gutting the Gerber. Empty box, empty box. My car scales. I'll eventually do something with that. Yeah, well, I really need to take care of this one. This is another bear hunter. Wow. Telling on myself here. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to get that one cleaned. Case knife, the large sod buster, this is the Leatherman Surge, I'm not going to go into that because there's too many blades. Of course, Air Force survival knife. Everybody seen that one? It's the Gerber. Not sure which one this one is. Need to look it up. Haven't used that one in a long time. Let's see. Yeah, we already looked at that one. It's a blade. It's made out of a saw blade. Pretty cool. Man, this one was made as well. So. And I believe I got through all the knives but one. So take a look. Yeah, this one is the case. The twin fin, mini twin fin. So it's got the smaller blade. And the larger blade. That's pretty much all the ones in my knife box. Like I said, Guys, if you got a knife box, you want to show your knives, by all means, do a video. Because I like to see them. I'm sure other people like to see them too. Anyway, it's been another quick knife review of my knife box. And Ousted Otter out.